Hello and welcome back to my channel, Far Away. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mask your car for a full color change. Alright, let's just get started. This car has been sanded. If you didn't see how I sanded the car, go back to my previous video. I showed it on the hood of this car. The exact steps that I took to sand that hood are the exact steps I took to sand the entire car. The car has been dismantled completely. Why? Because it's going to get a total color change. Let me show you how to mask it. Alright, let's begin. In order for you to have the perfect color change, you're gonna have to do what it's called a back masking. And this is it. You're just placing the tape behind and letting the sticky part face towards you. That's gonna help when you start covering it up, you're just gonna uh, cover up to where that tape, uh, sticky tape is at and you'll be fine. Let me just put the tape all the way around and I'll show you how I'm gonna bring the sheeting to cover it up there you go that is called back masking and I did this is just I just covered it with tape but everything else is covered now there's two ways you can you do it you can either start covering it with paper or you can use a plastic sheeting right there which that's what I'm gonna be using it's a lot easier now there's a lot of uh, painters out there that they'll cover the entire car and then just uh, cut around where the the tape is at which is fine perfect it works the only thing is that all this area that you're gonna you're just gonna you're just gonna waste so what I'm gonna be doing I'm just gonna be cutting sections I'm gonna be cutting this area paste it down tape it up and uh, then the the side door the other door and I'll just go go like that in pieces. It's a lot easier. You don't waste a lot of material. So let's do it that way. All right, there you go. I placed the sheeting on top. Now all I'm gonna do, just press it. Press all around so that the tape will start and grabbing start grabbing the the plastic sheeting. All right. Once it's all pressed, now this is the tricky part. What you're gonna do? Get yourself a a very sharp. Uh, blade and you're just gonna go on the very edge right there and just slide it do not press it just slide it and you'll cut it it'll be cut you see there you go that's all you need to do and go all the way around go all the way around and uh, Cut it up. Just be careful. Go slow. Uh, if you cut through the tape, no problem. Don't panic. Uh, you can still put another tape on top of this and it'll cover it up. All right. Now that I have everything covered, the back, the doors, the gas cap. Now let's go to the front windshield. What I like to do, I like to run a, a tape right on the edge of the windshield. I still need a little bit, a little piece there. And get the plastic sheeting and just run it all the way to the front all the way to the front and uh, just tape it up let me show you all right here's the reason I put some a tape on the very edge now all I gotta do take my razor, razor blade and cut on the bottom it doesn't have to be perfect just cut on the bottom and when you tape it up you're gonna have this uh, tape right here. You can see right there. You can you're gonna have there. You're gonna put your tape right here, and it's gonna it's gonna cover perfect. All right, there it is. Everything has been covered, and 
It actually got dark on me, but that's no problem. This is going to be for tomorrow. I'm going to be painting this car tomorrow. Um, I do have a couple of uh, bare metal areas that are showing, which uh, you cannot leave like that. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to put some self-fetching primer on those bare metal areas. They're real small, so you can use this. I've been using this uh, brand, actually, and this uh, method for many years. Never, ever had an issue. So uh, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to start spraying the areas that I see is to bare metal. And there it is. All the areas that uh, were bare metal, they've been covered. Now it's ready. It's the following day. We're ready to paint. First of all, before I start painting, let me talk to you a little bit about my filtration. I've been asked several questions about it. Now, the filtration that I have, here it is, guys. I am going to put all the links to where I bought all this in the description below but you don't have to actually purchase all this section right here all you need is this filter right here which is from uh, steel camel this filtration will do the job of all this i have this because i already had it so i just included this one and tell you the truth i haven't even changed the desiccant on this filtration for a while why because this filter filter right here is doing the job of all this so if you don't have any filters on your lines you're gonna have trouble with what is called uh, fisheye and uh, oils and everything that's gonna be contaminating your paint so if you don't have anything like this just get yourself the steel camel and you'll have your one of the best filtrations that you can okay also I have some lines running up and down it's a 50 foot lines with three valves three drain drain valves okay so I do drain the water every single time that I uh, that I'm gonna paint I drain it and I don't keep the water uh, on the tank I drain the water on the tank every single time that I'm done I drain it I do not keep the air in the tank that's one of the things so as of right now let me change the filter the steel camel filter because this has been running for about six months already so it's time for me to change it all right here it is here's the new filter that I'm gonna be placing there's their uh, their little information sheet and there it is so let's just change it and uh, have it ready for that uh, to paint the car. It is extremely simple guys. All you got to do, just uh, remove the air from the compressor so that it, there's no pressure in it and twist it off. That's all you got to do. All right, now get your new filter and install it. There it is. The new filter is ready. We are ready to turn on the compressor start painting all right the car has been wax and grease removed it has been tack ragged this is a wax and grease remover that i'm using now it's time for the sealer the sealer is going to be a light gray so let's just mix it up get started
The first and only coat of sealer has been applied. You only need one. Why am I applying sealer? A lot of questions have been asked on that too. Sealer, I applied because I had different colors on this car. I had some parts white. I had some parts black. I had some uh, self-fetching primer. I had several different uh, colors. And this will give me a uniform color in order for me to apply the, the base, the paint, so that everything will be exactly the same color, perfect. So uh, that's one of the reasons, and it is primer. It is primer. I've been asked if, it is, if it's primer. Yes, it is. It's primer, but it's a non-sandable primer. So you can start, after 15 minutes, you can start shooting your base on top of this. So let's just uh, go see the paint that I'm going to be applying. First of all guys, I want to thank Behave and Customs for sending me this uh, Idaho plate. Thank you very much. I'm getting closer to my complete set. Behave and thank you. And here is the paint. That is the paint code. It's from BMW. It's called Urban Green. And the paint I'm going to be using is from HiQ. Gentlemen and ladies, if you haven't used this brand of paint, I highly, highly recommend it. This paint, when I painted my daughter's uh, Genesis, it covered in the first coat. So I just needed to apply two coats. But myself, I've been taught that it's always like three coats. So I just applied a third coat. But this brand of paint, it's, it's one of a kind, okay? and they do deliver to your home so there's no reason for you not to try it I am trying it for you and I'm telling you get some get some get some get some uh, it is mixed one to one so with one gallon of paint you can make two gallons just buy one gallon you have two gallons right there so let's mix it up start spraying so you can see how quick it covers
first coat. Now do you believe me? It covers in the first coat. Awesome. I am going to put three coats. Don't get me wrong. I am going to put three coats because that's the way I've been doing it. That's the way my mind is trained. But it covers in the first coat. nice now I'm just gonna let it set for about 10 minutes and uh, apply the other two coats I'm not gonna show you that because it's repetition it's the same thing I'll bring you back once the third coat has been applied three coats three coats of base have been applied nice smooth we're ready for that clear it's a real nice color let's just uh, Let's see it with the clear. All right, before you start applying the clear, get yourself a tack rag. Wipe it down. Get every single little dirt nib and everything off. Uh, I've been tacking it down in between each coat. So uh, let me just wait that 15 minutes for this paint to dry and tack rag it so that uh, I can have a nice surface for that clear. All right, the clear I'm going to be using, it's a TC5300. It's from High Q, and it's a high solids clear. Let's just mix it up. This is mixed two to one. I'm going to use some slow hardener. It's about 98 degrees in here. So uh, let's mix it up. Start applying. Before applying the clear, let me talk to you about the gun I'm going to be using for that clear. This is a Wacom Carbonio 360 Light with a 1.2 tip and the MP air cap this gun I got it from motivated painters uh, there's a couple of guns left on the motivate motivated painters website guys I'm gonna leave the link below to uh, his channel also on YouTube and to his uh, web page uh, so that you can go and get yourself one of these this is the best clear gun that I have ever used right there so uh, it is the Motivated Painters Edition. So let's just get uh, spraying so you can see it. And I am using High Solids Clear with a 1.2.
Alright guys, and this is it. Hope you guys liked it. This will be it for this video. All the equipment that I use will be in the description below. Hit them up. Tell them Far Away sent you. Uh, for the steel camel filters. For the high Q paint. And for that uh, clear gun. That welcome clear gun. Tell, tell Gabriel that uh, Far Away sent you. He'll, they'll hook you up guys. Thank you very much. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And um, hit that thumbs up, guys. It helps a lot. And that little heart. If you want to help out the channel, I would really appreciate it. And uh, this will be it. All right. Thank you. And like always, God bless.